Now we will study different parts of lathe machine. Head. The bed of the lathe provides the foundation for the whole machine and holds the headstock, tail stock and carriage in alignment. The surfaces of the bed that are finely machined, and upon which the carriage and tail stock slide, are known as ways. Some beds have a gap near the headstock to allow extra large diameters to be turned. Some very large lathes have a sliding bed where the upper part, on which the carriage and tail stock sit, can be slid along a separate lower part, and so make the gap correspondingly larger or smaller. Chuck. A device that holds a workpiece in place as it rotates. The chuck commonly has three or four jaws that can be adjusted to fit various sizes of parts. Headstock. The headstock contains the headstock spindle and the mechanism for driving it. In the belt-driven type, the driving mechanism consists of a motor-driven cone pulley that drives the spindle cone pulley through a drive belt. The spindle can be rotated either directly or through back gears. When the headstock is set up for gear drive, the bull gear pin is pulled out, disconnecting the spindle pulley from the spindle. This allows the spindle to turn freely inside the spindle pulley. The drive belt turns the spindle pulley, which turns the back gear set, which turns the spindle. Each drive mode provides four spindle speeds, for a total of eight. Tail stock. The primary purpose of the tail stock is to hold the dead center to support one end of the work being machined. However, the tail stock can also be used to hold tapered shank drills, reamers, and drill chucks. It can be moved on the ways along the length of the bed and can be clamped in the desired position by tightening the tail stock clamping nut. This movement allows for the turning of different lengths of work. The tail stock can be adjusted laterally, front to back, to cut a taper by loosening the clamping screws at the bottom of the tail stock. Apron. The apron is attached to the front of the carriage and contains the mechanism that controls the movement of the carriage and the cross slide. Carriage. The carriage is the movable support for the cross feed slide and the compound rest. The compound rest carries the cutting tool in the tool post. The carriage has T slots or tapped holes to use for clamping work for boring or milling. When the carriage is used for boring and milling operations, carriage movement feeds the work to the cutting tool, which is rotated by the headstock spindle. Lead screw. The lead screw is used for thread cutting. It has accurately cut acme threads along its length that engage the threads of half nuts in the apron when the half nuts are clamped over it. The lead screw is driven by the spindle through a gear train. Therefore, the rotation of the lead screw bears a direct relation to the rotation of the spindle. Dead center. A dead center may be used to support the workpiece at either the fixed or rotating end of the machine. Dead centers are typically hardened to prevent damage to the important mating surfaces of the taper and to preserve the 60 degree angle of the nose. Speed controller. Speed controller is situated on the head stock and control the speed of spindle. Saddle. A saddle is H-shaped casting. It connects the pair of bed guideways as a bridge. It fits over the bed and slides along the bed between headstock and tailstock. The saddle can be moved by providing automatic feed. Spindle. The spindle is a hollow cylindrical shaft. It is used for holding the live centers. The spindle rotates on two large bearings based on the headstock casting. The front end of the spindle is threaded. Those are used for holding the chuck face plate, driving plate and catch plate. Cross slide. It is situated on the saddle and slides on the dovetails guideways. It carries compound rest, compound slide and tool post. Cross slide hand wheel is rotated to move it at right angle to the lathe machine axis. The cross slide hand wheel is graduated on its rim to enable to give known amount of feed. Compound rest. It is a part which connects to cross slide and compound slide. It is mounted on the cross slide. The compound rest can be swiveled to the required angle while turning tapers. A top slide known as compound slide is attached to the compound rest by dovetail joint. Compound slide. Compound slide is a T-shaped rounded slot, which is fixed with cross slide upper surface by two bolts, which is related to the micrometer sleeve and screw handle with the outer edge with the screw. The screw is only used for less long job taper turning. Tool post. It is located on the top of compound slide. It is used to hold the tools rigidly. 
tools are selected according to the type of operation and mounted on the tool post and adjusted to the convenient working position. Feed mechanism. The tool movement relative to the work is known as feed. There are three types of feed. Longitudinal feed, when tool moves away or towards the headstock parallel to the axis of the work. Cross feed, when the tool moves away from the or towards from the operator perpendicular to work. Angular feed, by swiveling the compound rest the tool is made to move at any angle to the work.